Hey everyone, welcome to the Q Talk Show. And as you all know, when Q talks, everyone listens. I am here with Natasha, the sexy dancer. This week's business of the week. Hi, I'm Lisa. If you're like me, you love getting real greeting cards in the mail. Not only do I love to get cards, I also love sending cards to friends and family. But what do you do when you can't make it to the store? Or when you do walk down the greeting card aisle, you're frustrated because out of the endless number of greeting cards, only a small fraction look like us. I've got a tip. Check out Culture Greetings. They are a premier black greeting card brand with automated printing technology. On the website, you can browse thousands of cultural greeting cards across all holidays and occasions. Then you pick a card and write a note inside using handwriting fonts that mirror real penmanship. At checkout, you must specify your recipient and Culture Greetings will print and mail the cards on your behalf. You can even add a gift card inside from Amazon, Target, and many other brands. So stop sending messages to say happy birthday or I love you or thank you. Culture Greetings makes sending real cards in the mail just as simple as a quick social media post. Send a card today. Visit culturegreetings.com. I can never say no, never know that love's so sweet. Ain't no cap for your all I need. And I take back, my heart belongs to you. There's nothing I won't do. To spend my life with you. And I spend time. Get this class started. Feel free to jump on this floor and follow along, okay? All right, we're gonna start with our head circles to the right. Then give me four to the right and four to the left. So go ahead and take your time. Find that feet. Make sure you roll that head all the way around. Three. Last one. And take it to the other side. Good, make sure you're taking your deep breaths in, relaxing, especially if you're a little shy. Last one. Good, give me four shoulder rolls back. Make sure you pick it up, drop it down, away from your ears. Good. 
Slowly walk it on back, taking your time. Good. We're going to slowly close those legs. Good. We're going to go ahead and take it to the left side. So you're going to extend that left arm, drop that head, leaning onto your side. Bring your leg back towards me. Good. Good. We're going to take this right leg on top. We're going to bend that knee. You're going to slowly roll onto your stomach. Hands by your head. Both Deep hands. Breath in. Uh huh. So go ahead and slide your hands on back. So you want your hands there. We go. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale. You're gonna roll up. And you wanna stretch, 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 stretch. Yep. Yeah, you should feel that right there. That look on your face. That's mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring it on down, sliding that right leg back. We're just gonna switch our legs. Bring the left one up. Oh. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. Good, and lower yourself down. Straightening out your legs. You're going to bend your knee, okay? So again, keeping your hands here. We're going to bend our knees. Booty in the air. Bring your hands a little bit close to the air. We go. You're going to push your hips over your feet and stretch those arms. Good. Slowly drag those hands on back. Good. Go ahead and bring your body on up. Gonna go ahead and sit on that left hip. So hand down. Left hip. Good. We're gonna take this right leg. We're gonna slide it this way on top. Good. We're just gonna roll slightly. So you're just gonna roll onto that pelvis and hold. Yep, just testing you. <laughs> See right how far I can go. <laughs> this is real, y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, you know, people forget that sexy, it, people make it look easy. It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It take a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be sweating up in this bad boy. Let's go ahead and throw that in reverse. So you're going to roll on back, dragging in that right. We're going to bend that knee. We're going to bring it up. We're going to take it to the other side. Good. We're going to take that left leg, kick it towards that mirror, and we're going to roll. Oh, 
Slide it on back so that we go back onto our stomach. I need to position so you can see what I'm saying here. Yeah. All now right. Yeah, now I can see. Hands here, right by your face, elbows bent. Booty in the air, pushing back. Bringing it up slowly. Flip that hair on up. Good. I'll give you little booty rolls right here. Loosen up that waist. There we go. Good. Four, three, two, and one. What we're going to do is a sexy push up, okay? So from this position, you're going to slide your hands on and out. You're going to drop your chin onto your chest. Okay. You're going to drag your chest along the ground like you're trying to clean the floor with the chest, okay? So again, okay. you're going to slide the hands down, chin on chest. Drop your head to the floor, and then you're gonna push your chest along that floor, and lay flat. Good. And you're gonna throw it in reverse. So again, that's booty up. Using those hands, push yourself back until your hips are over your feet. Stretching back and flipping up. Yeah, just like that, looking like Ooh. a little mermaid. I'm about to start doing push-ups like this uh, now. Oh. oh. Listen, listen. <laughs> Let me do a push up. We're gonna do one more. Get the case, okay? All right, so again, yeah, you're gonna come on down. You feel it real proper. Go ahead and don't be afraid to let that one foot fly, okay? So you're gonna go ahead, slide down, chin on your chest, drop your head, arch that back, let that foot come up, and slowly slide out. And then throw it in reverse. Then throw it in reverse. Go ahead and switch your feet. Push it on back. Flip it up. There we go. Good job. We're going to finish rolling it out. Good. Three, two, and one. Take it to the right. We're going to sit. And we're just going to look pretty. Wait for this routine. Oh, see, it's, you know, it's just the little thing, the little thing. I'm coming to class on Tuesday. I'm telling you every Tuesday. Oh, wow. Here, doing this this is real, yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right, so anything you want to put in it, anything that you're like, you know, I've been seeing this on Instagram, and I'm going to try this. So, yeah, well, I, I've been seeing your Instagram. She works the phone, y'all. That, that. Love to learn that. So tell me, show me something else. So something sexy standing up. What's a sexy move? All right. So well, first, bring it up. We gotta get you up. Okay. That's important. You can't just hop up and think you just ooh. ooh you we just this? gonna look good. No, no. We got to be cute coming up. Okay. So we're gonna take it okay. back to our knees. Good. We're gonna take up on the right leg. So uh -huh. you're gonna lift on the right. Good, you're gonna put your butt on your heel, go lean forward. That should relieve some of the weight on that left leg. And you're gonna drag that left leg in. Yeah, always point them toes, cheerleader. There you go. Now pressing down those knees, give me all that booty. Bend it over, bend it over, bend it over. Up the back of that leg. Slow drag. Oh, yes, that's right. See, again, because you can't just, you can't just get up with it, okay? Wow. I'm standing, y'all. <laughs> She's more than standing. Don't let her fool you, okay? She didn't have to have no practice in these shoots. All right, so, now you might need a little practice on this one, okay? But this is one of our favorites, okay? Like, okay. call it a melt, because you really want your body to melt into this position. Okay. So, the best way that I can explain this move, we're going to go ahead and open our legs about shoulder width apart. You know when you have attitude, what's the first thing we do? Put your hand right here. And, and then what's, what's the hip face? Let's go and shift that weight. Put all that weight into mm -hmm. that right hip. Like, what? Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it all the way in the right. We're going to bend that right knee. It's like we're going to do a lunge. There we go. So you don't want to put it out too far because okay. then we're going to lose the foundation on the left. So we're going to drag it in just a little bit. So now the more you bend to the right, the easier it is to drop to the left, okay? Uh -huh. It's all about balance when we're in these heels. So the lower we go to the left, the more you have to bend on the right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
this lunch. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, wait, we get some practice with this. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna come right here so you can say you can watch. Right this is yeah. me. There you go. Okay, okay. okay. Make you guys more comfortable. So again, hands here, because it reminds me to give that attitude, right? Open, leaning to the right. So really put all that, there we go. Taking that left, we're gonna drag down. Good, you wanna always keep the eye contact. One thing about sexy, sensual confidence is eye contact. So once you get to the ground, or with your hands down, you're yeah. gonna drop that head. You're gonna give me a nice little hair whip. Bam. And then drag it back on up, arching that back, watching your shape. Then you're gonna take it to the other side. Attitude to the left, mm. bend that hip, bend that knee, press that booty out, drag, drop that head, and flip it up. Up. Good. You know, let me test the big knees out. Okay, we're gonna roll and down. All the way Ooh. to the floor. Grab the ankles, booty up. Push your hips all the way back so it's a balancing act. And drag. Yes, again, professional. We didn't even have to go over nothing with you. All right, so. I mean, damn, he's on all of his sexy all. No, okay, now, the hardest part, I think, out of all of this, especially at eight inches, Walking to get that balance. So what we gonna do is we're gonna add a walk in, okay? Okay. Everything we just did, we're basically gonna put together anywhere from uh, our melts to our body rolls. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take it to the ground. We're gonna roll into that split. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. Yes, okay, All right. so we're gonna take uh, two, four steps forward, okay? So again, uh, you want to squeeze in the back of your shoulders right here, okay? Uh, typically with me, when I'm teaching, everybody's not a dancer, so I don't like to use terminology <laughs> that people no. may not understand, okay? So when I say squeeze right here, they're like, oh. So we're going to squeeze right here, okay? Go ahead and put your hands around that waist. Uh, go ahead and squeeze, and it'll give you a boob lift. If you don't need one of those, you can also put your hands here and give yourself a butt lift and squeeze. So, I do totally, 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 you know that little waist, don't blink. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to squeeze with our knees. So act okay. as if you have like a quarter right in between your knees. You're gonna take a step forward with your right foot slightly crossing, but you wanna make sure you're coming forward. There we go, now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Left, good. Oh, that is yes. a bouncing ass. Right, Ooh. and left. Good, all right, let's go ahead and back it on up. We'll start that one more time. That is a bouncing ass, okay. That is, now the slower you go, the harder it is, okay? So now when you put a little bit of um okay, and attitude into it, it goes. I make it a lot easier. So again, just always remember, squeeze with your knees, cross, and moving forward. If you cross too far here, then you end up looking like a little teapot. Yeah. Short and stop, right? Yep. So we're going to squeeze <laughs> and step, squeeze and step, squeeze and step. Yeah, girl, please. Come on, you was ready. You was ready. All right, so you're going to give me a, a right, a left, a right, open left, okay? okay. So you're going to step right, by. A right, left, a right, open left. That's right. Now call it out. I always call it out because I never want you to feel like you alone. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, seven, right, left, right, open left. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there we I, go. I, I to, okay. <laughs> right, left. So right, open, left, right, open, left. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, and then as okay. soon as we open, we're gonna take it to that right melt bag and drop um, it down. Yeah, got me we're gonna all. put all it right. together. All right, you ready? And five, six, seven, eight, step, right, left, right, open. Attitude to that right, and drop it down that left, making that eye contact, and flip that head up, and drag. Good. Attitude to the other side. Use those hands. Bend that Ooh. knee. Drag it on down. Drop that head. Flip it up. And good. We're going to roll down for four. We're going to go around. One, two, 
three and four. We're gonna drop that right knee, drop that right hand. We're gonna sit on that right hip. We're going to take this left leg. We're going to grab behind the knee or under the knee. Yes. Now, here's a trick. If you are not flexible, which she is, <laughs> if you are not, you can bend this elbow and round that back out just a little bit. If you're flexible, press into that arm. Bring that knee all the way to your chin and extend. Yes. Look at that line. Yeah. Good. We're going to roll over onto our stomach. We're going to do our sexy push up. So, hands by your face, booty in the air, and press go to your back. Drag, drag, drag. And flip it up. And roll. Two, three, and four. We're going to go down one more time. Sexy push up. Slide. Slide. Drop your heels. And close them and make that noise. Good. Booty up. And you're going to hip dip. So you're going to take your hips to the right. Smack. Up to the left. Smack. Back to the center. Throw it back. Good. This is a real workout. Oh, yes. We got one more because we got to get up. We can't stay here, right? We're going to stand up. Right leg. Lean forward. Drag left. Point that toe. I know it's hard sometimes. Pressing down. Booty up. Face down. And drag it up. And then we're just gonna walk away. Find your little spot right here. Hold on and get your pose on. Yes. yes. See? <laughs> See? See? This out. is amazing. Oh my god, I love thank this. You, thank you. Uh, I mean, like, let's just sit here real quick. Let's be In the street, man, they struggle. I know you want the expensive things, baby, rot you. Family, I'm going to go hurt you. My baby, hold me tight, me don't want to lose you. Will you stand by me when no money to be body? Or you go leave me alone? Because the street is not fun. I cannot lie, get a shell of the do me. Look into my eyes. You're the only one to do this Swear I can't deny you You are my diamond, my wife to be Follow me, Joe, my love, Joe, to me, my love You're the one, you're the one, you got me away I wanna thank you, your mommy, for bringing you down into this life, oh All I'm again, I meet anything you want me, go give it to you all Just to be my own I have you to shoot any man down If you dare for me, give me back up now only you there for me, girl. Baby, you're my love. Will you stand by me when no money to be body? Or you go leave me alone? Cause the street is not funny. And I call on you when nobody to call to me. Or you go leave me alone? Cause the street is not funny. All right, you guys, I, I had to sit down this, this, I, I don't even have words. I can't wait. I'm coming back. So explain to me, when did you start? Like what, what got you started with this? I mean, you know, I'll be honest. I was always that friend in high school that just wanted to be sexy and uh, researched and looked up everything. So I was a friend that everybody came to to uh, ask questions. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing this probably since I was like 17. I was always that friend who showed me how to do this. Okay, uh, but <laughs> but actually being a teacher, uh, it's been about seven or eight years. Wow! Now I have to ask: Are, are you a Scorpio? No, I'm you a know Libra. they always say the Scorpios. Oh, it's a Libra! I'm a Libra. Wow! You know, I don't even believe in that thing about the Scorpio. Yeah, I, I, but I ain't gonna well, you know, I'm a Scorpio, so I just had to make sure oh, you know. Well. <laughs> 
Okay. So you started this about six, seven mm-hmm. years now. Um, what, why dancing? What, what geared you towards this? Uh, after I had my first child, because I got three of them. After I had my, yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. Don't look at all that yet. Okay. My youngest one is six months. Mm-mm. But after I had my first child, he was about three years old and I had gone into a depression and but I didn't look like the people on the commercial, so I think that it was depression. <laughs> so I needed something to uh, pick me up, something yeah. to make me feel good, something that made me feel like Natasha and not the mom. Mm, yeah. So I found pole class, and it had all these other classes along with it, and I was like, oh, this is me right here. <laughs> Started as a student, and... Uh, took a break here and there and then the the studio owner was like you're gonna teach yeah I I couldn't run and you weren't supposed to run no. you were exactly where you were yeah. supposed to be so explain to those who think like this is a little too much especially you know showing your coop mm-hmm. and <laughs> like all of, like how how, what would you say to, to those who are opposing this kind of form of dancing that they may not say it's dancing? Girl, if you don't get up in here. It's not. <laughs> it's not the thing is, it's, it's about how you feel. Yes. So you're able to come in as sexy as you want or as covered as you want. It's really a come as you are type of thing. Yes. Um, most people who come clothed and covered up. That was me. They end up being naked at the end of the day. <laughs> Because you just feel good. Your confidence, again, I work from the inside out. We talk a lot. We Everything is energy-based here. Mm-hmm. So in my classes, when you guys come and you feel everybody's having a bad day, I usually can feel it in here. So I will make my class conform to everybody's energy. Oh, that so, word again. Yes. Energy. 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 It's, yes. it's huge. It is. Someone's having a bad day. You can feel it. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I feel, ooh, I feel ooh, your energy mm-hmm. all the way. Mm-hmm. So I, I would just say, come, because you never know. Like a lot of people are just scared. Most people are like, oh, I don't. I'm not a dancer. Hence why I don't like to call it dancing. Dancing. We're movement. That's it. We just move. Movement class. That's the word that I was looking for. I am your for. movement motivator. Your confidence enhancer. There, right there. She, I mean, to be on camera like that, how many of you guys know Q Talks to really show anything like this? Is, I mean, I'm confident for it all. I don't know. I'm confident now. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, like, so for those who are interested mm-hmm. in coming, even if they are, do you do virtual classes? Okay, so one thing about me is I'm very hands on. So, okay. with every one of my students, uh, I try to make everybody feel as if we are friends. Because okay. I mean, we all end up in here friends anyway. But so I tried the virtual thing, but it was really hard because I felt like somebody was going to laugh. And you couldn't see yes. and you couldn't help and you couldn't talk yeah, them nope. through. I, I have that. to be able to connect with you. So for my LA people yes. that are here and watching this, where can they come and find Natasha, the red um, light experience? The best thing I can tell you is to go ahead and go to my website, uh, thenatashab.com. And that when you can sign up and keep up with me. Uh, most Tuesdays, I am here at the Lovely Vibes Studio. Um, but you never know where I might pop up. I, you don't want to miss that. I, I don't want to miss it. You guys so that. I'm just so excited. I'm just so on. and I feel so good. You should. I actually got a real workout. I yeah. actually felt my oh. muscles contracting. It's I not all expect sexy. a text message tomorrow. Like, what did you do? Oh, I think my boyfriend will text me and be like, what did you do? <laughs> but, <laughs> this is so amazing. Um, so for those looking, you said find you at NatashaB.com dot com mm-hmm. and your Instagram. Natasha B dot the experience. Natasha B dot the experience. I know it's a mouthful, but so am I. It's, it's the right. experience. It's a Natasha B it experience. Is. It is. I, so this is not only a confidence kind of story or motivation, also makes you lose weight and it makes you feel good. I yeah. love this, Natasha. We got to come back, you guys. I'm, I'm going to be here on Tuesday. I hope so. I'm going right. to hold her to it. I'll be here on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Till later, you guys. Bye. Bye.
Tasha B. Dot the Experience, and you're watching Q Talks. Yes. <laughs> I'll see her behind the camera later. <laughs> Trey Barker's journey is just like 2.3 million other people who have been incarcerated in the United States. And just like Trey, once they get outside, the chance of being arrested again are unbelievably high. That's why I'm teaming up with the creative genius of Concreates. They're formerly incarcerated people who are out in the world doing great things. And we're going to show you some people just like them and Trey Barker who will beat the odds to become successful entrepreneurs and business owners. Plus, they're giving back to the communities in a positive way. I didn't want to be a chef. It was too foo-foo. You know, I'm from the Bronx. I was like, they're going to laugh at me if I become a chef. Who's a chef in the hood? We came against a lot of odds, you know? We fought to make it that far. And we still fighting. And to be able to do what we did from where we from, it's like, it's magic. Welcome. My name is Chef Chris Montgomery, and we're at CeeLo Cafe 456 in the Bronx. When I was in jail, I did two years, two and a half years. So when I was in there, I already figured out what I wanted to do. So I was lucky enough to get into the kitchen. So it was a it was a calling. I was loving this, you know. I actually found a space there. This is my life, being a chef. I was the one who smoked weed, sold drugs. They labeled me. Whatever you've been through, I've, I've been through it. People make mistakes or people have gone through things for whatever reason, but then there is the opportunity to, to redeem yourself and, it's, and it happens. I always knew he had potential. It's just a matter of trusting and understanding himself and, give, and giving things a chance. I didn't want him to be stuck like that's the end of his career, especially being that he wanted to have his own restaurant since he wanted to do his own thing. For me, I just think at the end of the day, it's all about love. When they take that first bite and they smile, then I know I'm successful. You know, I like to say or think that there's only two things in the world that kind of send you back to a place, and that's food and music. And to be able to send people back to a memory is an awesome feeling. If people really follow my story up to now, they'll know it's all about community. It's all about trying to help that next person get up. The moment you understand and believe that you're gonna do better, no matter if you've been locked up, no matter how hard the situation is, there's no limit. Second chances are a beautiful thing. To find and learn more about these entrepreneurs and business owners making a positive impact on their communities, please visit tbs.com. next week.